This video shows a real-time video of a takeoff on a commercial job from start to finish using Earthworks. We added notes and titles but the takeoff is not edited, it's real-time. Let's show you how we input existing contour lines. Just a single click of the mouse fills in the entire contour line. We are going to input all of the existing contour lines by simply typing in the contour elevation, then we will click the contour line. It's that easy. Once we enter the first two contour elevations, the software recognizes that the contours are going downhill at a one-foot interval. This page has about 50 existing contour lines. We are going to input all of the lines in just under a minute. You can see how much faster we can do a takeoff in comparison with gritting this job out by hand or even using a digitizer where we would have to trace every line from beginning to end. Done. We have input all of the existing contour lines for this project. Now let's move on to the proposed contour lines. The process for entering the proposed contours is similar to the existing contours. It's a little hard to see but the software is filling the proposed contour lines from beginning to end with a red color. We must type in the first two contour elevations and then the software will automatically recognize the interval the elevations are going up or down. Again, it's a bit hard to see but each contour line is being filled with a red color to indicate that it's a proposed elevation. As you can see the input is simple and it didn't take more than a minute or two to enter all of the proposed contour lines. Done. We've completed the input of every contour line on this project. Now let me show you how we input building pads with the Earthworks software. We start by typing in the finish floor elevation of the building pad. Then, we click on the footprint of the pad. Earthworks will fill in the entire shape with one click. Next, we will assign a name to the structure then specify the material and depths of material being used in the pad. There are two buildings on this project so we are going to repeat the same process with the second pad. Type in the elevation, then click the footprint of the building. Input the materials and depths of materials and we have completed the input of both structures. Now, let's move on to the parking lot. When we input a road, sidewalk, trash enclosure or in this case a parking lot, we use a feature called subgrade area. The process starts by defining out the materials and the depths of materials being used in the parking lot. Once we define the materials we start clicking around the perimeter of the area where the paving is going to be applied. In this demonstration, we are zoomed out so you can see the entire plan. Normally, we would zoom in to follow the outline of the paving area so we can feel confident in the accuracy of our takeoff. Our philosophy is, it doesn't matter how quickly we do the takeoff if it's not accurate. If the parking lot is broken into heavy duty and light duty paving, we can call out those areas separately. The software takes the top of pavement elevation and lowers it by the depth of the paving materials to reach the subgrade. Earthworks will report out the square foot area of the paving, the cubic yards and also the tonnage of each type of material in the parking lot. You can also subtract shapes like islands and landscaping areas where paving will not be included. Now that we have completed the input, we are ready to calculate and review the results of our takeoff. Earthworks will look at the existing topography and factor in any demolition areas or areas with topsoil stripping or topsoil respread. Then, the software will analyze the proposed data and factor in the depth of the building pads, parking lots, sidewalks and any other structures. The software will also calculate trenching volumes for underground utilities. The totals report breaks out the cubic yards of cut and fill, import and export volumes, and the amount of topsoil strip and topsoil respread. 
The report will also break down the square foot area of all of the subgrade areas and will also display the cubic yards and tons of each type of material in those areas. The cut and fill color map shows you the location of the cut areas in red, and the fill areas in blue. The cross-section view shows the existing topography in green, and the proposed and subgrade details in red. The 3D view shows you what the finished site will look like, so you can make sure you didn't make any mistakes. You can rotate the image 360 degrees, and look at the site from different angles. That's it. A real-time takeoff. I promise that we didn't speed up the video. Imagine doing a takeoff on a project of that size in under 15 minutes. I just showed you how it can be done using our Earthworks excavation software. Go to our website at www.tallysystem.com for more information and to sign up for a free trial or give us a call at 858-271-8346, or shoot us an email, at sales at tallysystem.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.